Hey guys, so I'm doing a vlog and review. I haven't done one of these in a while. Now that it's almost sandal weather, I thought I would give my feet a little bit of a mask and I did a little bit of research about these peeling masks and at first it sounded really disgusting to me but when I read that it uses glycolic acid, I thought maybe I would give it a shot. So I picked up one of these Tony Moly Changing Magic Foot peeling shoes and I'm gonna sort of it's not going to be like a, well, it's going to be sort of a uh, like a first impressions video. As far as I know, Sephora used to carry Tony Moly, but I'm not sure that they still do. I do know that Ulta carries it now, and this retails for $6.50 a piece on Ulta.com. I actually got this from Amazon though for $4.50 or maybe a little bit less than that, including free shipping. So I'm going to give this a shot. Um, I can't... Oh, it actually does have instructions in English. Okay, so if you can see that, changing you magic foot peeling shoes. Steps that can transform an average looking woman into an attractive lady to make your feet feel smooth from the tips of your toes. These peeling shoes designed for removing foot calluses help make the rough skin on your feet uh, feel clean and smooth. These peeling shoes contain alpha hydroxy acid extract obtained from apples, lemons, and grapes, which gently remove excessive calluses from your feet. I have a couple of those. It also contains aloe vera and rosehip oil, which moisturize and soothe your feet's skin. Active ingredient of spring water helps relax your tired feet. Is that so? Put sheets on your feet. Keep both sheets on your feet and wait until your foot skin <laughs> absorbs the liquid. It takes approximately 1 to 1.5 hours. Step three, take off the sheets and wash your feet until the peeling liquid is thoroughly rinsed away or rised away. In four to six days, the dead cells will naturally start falling off from your feet. Do not try peeling them off forcefully. You will have smooth and soft feet in about two weeks. Two weeks. I've been wearing these boots that have been a little bit too big for me for the last couple of weeks and I've noticed that the bottoms of my feet have hardened a little bit or calloused over. So I have a couple of those and then generally speaking my heels, my heels don't get too bad but um, the bottoms of my big toes usually do get kind of dry um, and I usually, I mean my normal upkeep is just using a pumice stone maybe a couple times a month. So we're going to see if this does any better than a $3 pumice stone. Okay, there's already like some liquid coming out. Oh, I'm going to put this on the floor. This is a booty. Oh, it smells quite nice. I'm assuming this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know why there was liquid coming out of it already though. Because it was sealed pretty well. It smells really nice. Like, I don't know, like hair hair product or something. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that all my toes and stuff are coated. Okay. And they gave these stickers. So I'm gonna stick one of these on. You know, advertising for them while I walk around the house with these booties. Nice. Okay. I've heard that you should wear socks over these so you don't slip around too much. So I might have to do that. Yeah, there's definitely liquid coming out even though they were s they're were they sealed, you know, in theory. So they're on pretty tight now. Um, so far I don't really feel any tingling or anything. It just feels kind of slimy. Um, yeah, slimy and wet, but it feels nice. It is now 2.53 p.m. and I'm gonna keep these on for the full one and a half hour. So I guess um, I would have to take it off at um, 4.23 p.m. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna check in Probably not that frequently until I 
see something happening to my skin. Of course, I'll show you when I take these off what my feet look like, which I'm not sure it's going to be pretty. In terms of um, the peeling and stuff like that, I'm not going to check in until something actually starts happening probably. And I'll tell you on the bottom of the screen what day it is to let you know. Because I know some people started peeling right away, some people never saw any results. So we're going to see what happens with my calloused feet. So I will check in with you in about an hour and a half unless something interesting happens like my feet start burning. And basically this is what I'm seeing right now. This is what the booty looks like. I don't want to tip it too much in case the liquid comes out. But this should be mostly a one size fits all. And um, I'm a size 8 almost so in women's of course. So there you go. Okay, just a quick update. It's been uh, seven minutes. Okay, I've put on these socks um, to make it easier for me to walk. I am starting to feel some tingling. It actually started from my ankles. I guess the skin on the tops of my legs are more sensitive than my actual feet skin. I don't know, but now my um, toes are starting to feel a little bit tingling too. Okay, it's now 3.07, so it's been a whopping 14 minutes. It's a very... It started out as a tingly feeling, and I would say it's more of a really, really intense minty feeling um, that I'm starting to feel at the bottom of my feet now, too. Um, my ankles, though, that skin is the one that feels like worryingly tingly at this moment. Um, I just don't, I mean, I think it's interesting that the um, formula or whatever they use in this, you know, mask. Um, goes up to the ankles because I don't really need my ankle skin to be exfoliated or peeling off or anything like that. I did check to see whether my feet are red or anything like that. I don't see any signs of irritation just yet. It's only been, you know, 14 minutes. I'm wondering what percentage glycolic acid this is. So the ingredients are not in English or maybe anywhere on this packaging. So I did happen to find the ingredients on Ulta. It's got alcohol, water, propylene glycol, lactic acid. You can read for yourself. That looks fairly natural. That menthol though I think is what's causing this. Oof. Okay, it's 425. It's been an hour and a half and I'm about to take these babies off. It feels a lot less liquidy so I think my feet have soaked up a lot of the, the liquid. I probably should have showed you what my feet looked like before, but um, actually my feet don't look that bad right now with the liquid in. They look a lot more moisturized than they normally do. I don't see any peeling just yet. Let's see how much liquid is still left. Not much at all. Nothing is coming out. Well, that is an awkward angle. But yeah, I mean, they didn't get significantly more tingly. Um, there's a callus right here, which you can't really tell because um, it's like wet right now. But, and then this skin is usually really dry. So the instruction said to rinse it out, rinse it off. And then dry my feet. Ooh, that's a little sore when I dry my feet. Now, we wait. Back in my room and uh, my feet look normal. They look more moisturized. There's a little bit of peeling, but I think that's normal for any skin that's been soaked for so long in some sort of liquid. So it's Monday afternoon or evening. I just got home from work a little bit ago and took off my shoes and my feet feel kind of funny. There's no peeling or anything yet, but it just feels weird. I don't know, I can't even describe And this is way shinier than my feet normally look. But no, no peeling yet. My feet do feel kind of funny though, like they're about to peel. Okay, it is now Wednesday and three days have passed since I put on the mask. I obviously just got out of the shower and I just noticed my first signs that something is actually happening to my feet. All right, do you see that on my second toe? Nail polish is chipping, but look, some skin is coming up. That looks absolutely gross. I think it's even more obvious on this foot. So you see that? It's like a square.
so it's been five days since I applied the mask and I'm finally starting to see some peeling here. The skin is like white. You see that here? Whoa, look at that on the sides. That is major. That is major peelage there on the side of my foot. I think it's because I walk a lot. I live in New York City and I wore these new shoes today and I think it put a little bit more stress on my foot so it's like helped the process along. That is some major peeling there. Not too much going on with the heel yet. Whoa, my big toe is peeling a lot like in the front, in the back. I didn't even notice during the day until I took a shower just now and my feet were bare against the enamel in the tub. I was like, my feet feel kind of funny and I looked down and everything was like, like peeling. Now the skin is starting to really flake off in parts. And that's my heel. My left foot is um, pretty much the same as it was yesterday. And this is pre-shower, mind you. Um, so I, when I filmed the footage yesterday, it was after my shower. This is before. So I believe that once I get in the shower tonight, it's going to flake off even more. It's not doing that much for the pads of my feet, really. I think the skin might be a little bit too tough in these areas. Post-shower observations. It's Saturday still. It is really coming apart now that I'm out of the shower. Oh, that's bad. Even on my toes, you can see it's really coming apart. Yeah, it's really coming up. Today is Monday, so it's been eight days since I applied the mask. It's actually starting to um, slow down, I think, the peeling, because especially compared to yesterday. But wow, look at that toe. And the callus on this toe seems to be removing itself, which was my intention to start with. The sides are, you know, not as bad as they were yesterday. Sometimes when the skin falls off, um, you, it kind of feels a little bit raw, but other than that, there's like no burning or anything like that. Now that is really terrible looking. Some of the pictures online look like this, but wow, I didn't think they were real. The tops of my feet are not really um, scaling or peeling that much considering I had the boot on like all the way up to here. But you know, the liquid probably settled on the bottom of the foot. Whoa, can you see that? Just by putting my foot down, you see all those flakes. Wow. I think that the peeling process is almost over. It said like one to two weeks. So we're just pretty much in the middle of that right now. The layer of skin underneath is definitely softer. Oh, that feels a little bit sensitive. It's very red compared to the top layer of skin. Do you see how dramatic this is? The new skin versus the old skin? The line is like so dramatic. It's all scaly and shiny, whereas it's like pink and matte underneath. It looks really like we're in the final stages because everything is gone here, basically. Um, just a little bit left. And this is the front of my foot. Some of the dry skin was like climbing up my ankle yesterday, but it's not really apparent anymore, so that's kind of interesting. My right foot, it looks a lot worse. <laughs> like all that peeling. And then the callus that's coming up. And then we have a little bit of callus here, the same as the bottom of the other foot, so. It's very soft right after the shower. See, it's flaking off, but then when it starts drying, it's very stiff. Look at that callus, it's peeling off. I think most interesting was the fact that this skin was sort of peeling earlier, but it's not anymore. It was very, like little like circles of little dots of skin that were missing, but it's all gone now. So last time I checked in, I said that um, the tops of my feet had been peeling, but they had stopped peeling. But guess what? It's back again. You see that? Yeah, it's like all peeling. And then look at this foot right here. See? It's like 
hardened in here too. It's definitely like affecting the front of my feet as well as the back. And you can see here too all of that peeling all the way up to my ankle. What's interesting to me is that it was there a little like a couple days ago and then it went away. It's back again. Calluses are definitely starting to peel off. This one's gone already. Looks beautiful like a brand new baby's foot. Okay, so we've come to the last day of the video. I don't think I'm going to film any more after today. Today is Tuesday, so it's been two weeks and two days since I applied the mask. And as you can see, basically everything has cleared up. But if I zoom in, you can see there's still a little bit of shedding going on. The bottom of my foot is completely clear now. It looks kind of red, but really shiny and new otherwise. This used to be really, really dry. Um, there's still something there, but it's really not much in comparison to what it was. There's still quite a bit of flakage going on here, but my heel is fine now. I think my right foot did even better with the callus removal with the mask. So overall, I would definitely recommend this Tony Moly um, foot mask, but I probably wouldn't do it more than like once a year just because it's a process, but more than that, I just don't really know how great it is to have your, like, force your skin to um, renew itself so often, you know? So I personally wouldn't do it more than once a year. My feet feel fresh and new, ready for the summer. All right, thanks for watching! Oh, that is the creepy finale. <laughs>